This is Tad the Die Coach, aka Tad Enoy, here at the West Coast Classic 2012. I have about 12, 13 people, I think about 12 people in the contest. Plus, this is sort of a typical weekend for me um, at the con at the shows, um, especially with this show. I, I come to Lonnie's show every year because I really love this particular show. And uh, this weekend, I got there's three shows, or four shows going on in three different states um, that I'm managing, so it's a little bit of a crazy zoo, but that's sort of normal normal weekend wear for me at these shows. T um, today, we're just, just about finishing up the pre-judging, uh, and boy, I think I just sweated out about three or four pounds. <laughs> but it's a good thing I'm, I'm dieting for a contest, so this might be helping me out a little bit, so watch out Masters Nationals in four weeks. My name is Mae Strickland, and I uh, just competed in the Masters 45, 35, and Open. I just turned 45 this year. Um, this is my second year working with Tad, and I must tell you, I'm so glad that I uh, started working with him ever since I got with Tad, followed his diet plan. I have total trust in him. He's changed my physique in such an amazing way in such a short period of time. I'm so grateful. And um, I'm just really grateful to, to be working with Tad. Hi, I'm Anne Marie Swisher. I'm in Virginia and I just competed in physique. This is my first physique show. Um, and I have been working with Tad for about three and a half years now. And he's just really brought my physique up fantastic. From my first show um, in 2009, I did a small muscle mania and I'm originally competing in figure, but now I've decided to cross over into physique and uh, he's just such a great coach because he's constantly there to listen to you, to be your second ear and a voice when you're like self-doubting yourself. I really could not have done this without him. He's just, he knows my body down to a science and uh, if you really want to hire such a great coach then you need to hire Tad and out. My name is Marla Skeffington. I'm at the NPC West Coast Classic 2012. I work with Tad Nui. I've been working with Tad since January. And uh, since working with Tad, I've really honed my diet and changed my workout regimen and really seen changes in my body. And I'm just really enjoying working with him and being here at the Classic. Hey, my name is Matthew Miles. I'm here at the West Coast Classic 2012 and uh, just got off the pre-judging stage, did open and novice middleweight. Uh, had a great show this morning and uh, was very proud of the way I came out. This is actually my first show uh, in several years. I've actually been working with Tad, the diet coach now, for about 17 weeks. He's been phenomenal, great. He's really helped me out and got me in the absolute best shape that I've ever been in in my entire life. Uh, considering my dad was a bodybuilder growing up and he passed away back in 1998. And I'm dedicating this entire show to him, and uh, I'm just very proud to be here today. This is always the exciting stuff. This is the exciting stuff. Hi, Rick Pryor, West Coast Classic, of the 50 and over, and just did the novice light heavyweight, been with Tad for two years. The difference is night and day. He just took me from in good shape uh, into the best shape of my life, even at 53 years old. He uh, took me into the best shape that I've ever been in. Thank you. We're doing like a team photo, trying to, trying to get everybody together. Everybody that came to the show on, te on my team. It's like we're missing just a few people, but I think we're going to get it. <laughs> I think we got it. So today, uh, at the West Coast Classic here, I'm do I have um, competitors in just about every class and division: um, physique, men's physique, um, women's physique, uh, men's bodybuilding, of course, and um, even team physique and bikini, so and figure as well. So I, the whole gamut. So today was a running around, busy sort of haywire, sweating my butt off kind of a thing. <laughs> and then now we're about to go eat, which is what I'm really looking forward to: get my lunch, my grub on. Um, uh, I actually, this particular show has a special meaning for me because this show, three years ago, my daughter was born. Um, at the evening show, I got a call from my, uh, from my sister-in-law 
and had to rush back home right after my one one of my guys actually Danny Siebert um, won the overall and right after he won I had to rush my brother and I had to rush and drive back down to Temecula to get to go to the hospital to make sure that my wife was going to be okay so it's this particular show not only has special meaning because I like Lonnie and I like his show but also because I my daughter was born at, on the same weekend so and so she's just turned three this year so I'll, and I'll continue to support that and it'll continue to have special meaning for me <laughs> Craig Brichette, West Coast Classic 2012. I've been with Tad for a little over 12 months and uh, he's the man, so there you go. Normally, normally uh, at this particular show, I've, I've tanned people and I'm the official tanner, but it's just so time consuming and busy that I don't do it anymore. Um, but uh, what I, the kind of work that I do here at the show for, for all my competitors is really the kind of extra support that they need, telling them what to eat, uh, making any dietary changes, adjustments to make them get their conditioning look, to look just perfect, just right, um, making sure that they stay calm. Actually, half of what I do, I think, is just keeping people's nerves um, at, at ease, making sure that my professional eyeballs are on their bodies and giving them the right advice and telling them what to do so they can go up on stage and perform their best. And that's, uh, that's probably 90% of what I do. I do a starts the day before on Friday evening and then it ends up by the evening show after all the awards are given out. So I have like a full 24 hours or so of, of constantly answering texts, phone calls and going out and seeing people and that kind of stuff. But it's a lot of fun. It's what I signed up for. It's exactly what I love doing. I feel very, very blessed to be able to do it. Hi, my name is Trey. Um, I just finished uh, pre-judging at um, West Coast Classics. Uh, I just started working with Tad probably about six, seven weeks ago. Um, so far, I love it. Uh, I'm, in, I'm definitely in the best shape I've ever been in. Uh, I look forward to uh, continuing on to the USA's with Tad. Hi, I'm Carol Van Benick. I'm 43 years old. Um, today, I'm competing in the West Coast Classics and um, NPC. And my coach, the diet coach, Tad Enoy. And it's real exciting for me today because I get to compete with my son for the first time ever. I, this is my fourth show, this is his first, and his name is Dane Ben Benick. Take it away, Dane. Yeah, my mom dragged me into this, and I mean, it's been rough. Tad supports me through the whole thing, she supports me through the whole thing, but I guess it pays off in the end, sucks during it, but you know, it's worth it to pay off in the end. How old do I? I'm 17. Uh, not only, I mean, aside from, I mean, I started out in the sport as a competitor. So one of the one of the reasons why I incorporate this as a heavy aspect of part of the prep, um, being at the shows and helping them and, and taking such a hands-on sort of um, perspective uh, that I do is because it, you know, I get a lot of catharsis from my from my people getting up there and and even if they don't win, I don't really care. I don't really care if people win or lose. I want everyone to win. But I don't care if they win. It's not. It's, you can never sort of. Uh, predict what the judges are going to do or predict who's going to show up. What I care about is they go there looking their absolute best and have the absolute best opportunity to do their best and that they're at ease and everything is fun and that, um, that all of this adds value to their to their fitness and their lifestyle and their life and of course in uh, sort of and what that does is it sort of comes back to me um, quite a bit. I get a lot of, like I said, I get a lot of a big catharsis from seeing my people up on stage, having them perform really well, them taking their bodies from one state to, you know, in a wholly different state in 12, 15 weeks, and then getting up on stage and showing that off. That's amazing. And how many people really get a chance to do that in their lifetimes? Very, very few. So it's just, a, it's, I get to interject myself into, into 
very, very private parts of people's lives, so to speak. Because um, this is a very personal, uh, personal thing. Uh, competing and, and your body and being up on stage in a pair of speedos and or a, or a two piece and it's very very revealing and it's very, and it's a very personal thing and so winning and losing can oftentimes be very very emotional and so for me when I see people be able to change their bodies so much and come up here and support them through that process give them that sort of tender loving care that they need to have because it's a I mean this is an ego sport as well and so I can get bruised a little bit so I'm there to sort of cushion that a little bit give them the extra the extra little bit of oomph that they need to be able to go up there and take the blows and to do the very best they can. To me, that's just, I know what that feels like being a competitor for like the last 20 something years. I know that that isn't that the, the, your whole experience at the show, which is also another reason why I like Lonnie's show, because he, the, my competitors get an opportunity to do that. Um, that you know, you, you get this really wonderful catharsis, this really wonderful sort of sensibility about coming to the shows and doing well.